Hey, what's up guys? My name is Kyle Warner and today I'm going to show you guys how to wheelie. So wheelies are one of those things where some people can do them effortlessly, it's no big deal, and then other people it takes years and years of practice to figure it out. Um, over the years I've learned a bunch of really small tips that make a huge difference in how easy it is to wheelie and it'll kind of help you stay in that position better. So today we're going to go over that. I'm going to coach my girlfriend on how to wheelie and uh, today I'm going to help you guys figure out how to do it. All right, so this is my girlfriend, April, and today she's gonna learn how to wheelie. There's some mistakes I see a lot of people make right off the bat. So first, let's go over those mistakes. Um, the first mistake that I see people make is either they're in too hard of a gear or too easy of a gear. And basically, if you're in too hard of a gear, you can't get enough torque to get the front wheel to come up. If you're in too easy of a gear, you can maybe get the wheel up, but then you spin out really fast and the front wheel drops. One other thing people do is when they are in a wheelie or when they're trying to lift for a wheelie, they put their head down and look at their front tire. Again, like we talked about in the manual video, that drops your weight forward and it'll make your front wheel drop. Another mistake that people make is when they go to pull with the wheelie, instead of having their arms locked, they'll basically pull and bring their arms in and do the T-Rex arms like we talked about in the manual video. So no T-Rex arms, that is the worst thing that happens because it basically immediately makes your bike want to loop out. And so that's a mistake I see a lot of people make. So if any of these sound like you and you want some help, keep watching and we will help April figure it out too. <laughs> first thing first, we're gonna have her do some wheelies pre-coaching, see what her technique looks like. I can kind of point out a few things and then we'll put her in the bike stand. I'll kind of coach her through the proper technique and then we're gonna try to get you wheeling. Sweet. <laughs> That was pretty good. So I don't want to give you guys too much too soon, but keep an eye on what her butt does as it comes up off the seat, her head position, and her arm position. Just keep an eye on that, and we'll talk about it more in a minute. Cool. That was pretty good. Now I have a pedal. That was pretty good. I got a pop. All right, so let's give you some coaching. All right. All right, so we got April set up here on uh, our little feedback sports bike stand. Um, this is something I like to use a lot for kind of teaching people how to manual or even how to wheelie. It just helps them stay in a position where I can just kind of hold them vertically and they don't feel like they're gonna tip side to side. But rule number one that we're gonna do for a wheelie and for a manual, rule number one of all wheelies and all manuals, always cover your rear brake. So what I mean by that is you always wanna have your finger over the rear brake. That way, if you do start to go too high, you start to loop out, you can tap it and buy yourself a little bit of time or you can grab it and it'll help set the front end down. And then a lot of times you'll hear people say, modulate your brake. And what does that mean? What that means by modulate your brake means instead of doing a full hard squeeze, you're gonna basically do like, like a nice light pull, you'll feel it contact, and from there you can do small little pulses. And that's what modulation means. So when I do a wheelie, um, if I'm doing a long wheelie, basically I'll get to the point where I can feel my pads touch the rotor, and then I'm kind of just modulating. So if I'm starting to go back a little bit, I just do a light squeeze. If I'm starting to drop a little bit, I'll let off and have the wheel free up a bit. So that's what it means by modulate. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then the next thing that we're gonna talk about is our feet. So coming into the wheelie, you're gonna basically be coming in at a nice like cruising speed, coasting into the wheelie, and instead of having your feet level, I personally like to have my front foot up at about 12 o'clock position and my bottom foot at six o'clock. So I ride left foot forward. So what I do is I take my left foot and I bring it back up. I kind of come into the wheelie like this and then right as I want to go pop, I do a slight compression with my arms, I lean back and then I pedal and those three things need to meet all at once. Does that help? Mm -hmm. Okay. So. That's how I like to do it. People like to do it different ways. Some people do a 45, some people do, you know, somewhere in between 45 and that 12 o'clock, but that's how I like to do it. From here, we're gonna go through the different um, seat positions. Uh, one of the mistakes I see is people will either have their seat too low or too high, and I'm gonna show you why that is a big deal, and it really matters where you have your seat. So from here, I'm gonna start lifting you up. So head up, looking ahead, and then basically we're gonna go up, 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 arms locked. So with your seat down, that's her balance point right here. That's where I can do very little. This is why I can't wait. That's why she, that's why I don't want you to have your seat down. <laughs> so that's too high, right? It's scary. Okay, so now put your seat up to full extension. So now let's go ahead and find her balance point. So from here, so right okay. here is her balance okay. point. There. So do you see the difference? My leg is like fully extended. So now that she has her seat all the way up and her legs fully extended. It's gonna, when she pedals and her legs kind of get to that almost lockout, it's gonna make her weight shift like that. And so that's really hard to stay in a wheelie position. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do like a mid height. That looks about good. All right, and so this is in a mid seat height and this is why it's so important. So let's go ahead and bring you up. So head up, 
sorry. It's okay. <laughs> so in the mid position, this is about where her balance point is. So it's lower than when the seat is all the way down. It's a little bit higher than when the seat is up, but her knees aren't gonna be locking out and it's not gonna let her kind of shift from side to side and want her to like lean one way. So a lot of times when people do a wheelie and they start leaning left or leaning right, it's because their seat's a little bit high and when they fully extend, it puts their weight down and it starts to make them lean. All right, so she's in this wheelie position. Now, a lot of times what people do is they start to get scared because they're in this position. And so they start to try to get close to the handlebar. So what I'm gonna have her show you is what happens when you crawl forward and you kind of um, do the T-Rex arms because you get scared. So bring yourself forward. So as she does that, do you feel it it's starting to go? Sliding. Yeah. <laughs> So not only does it make your balance point really, really volatile because you're at such a peak right here, it makes you want to slide off the back. It makes everything kind of fall apart. So extend your arms again. So now her balance point just dropped. So now her balance point's about right here. She's in a nice neutral position. And basically she has this much time before something goes bad, but with your arms up. So bring your arms in. So when her arms are in, keep going. So if she goes like this, then basically this is balance right here. And then right there is like dead. So balance, dead, arms extended. So here, she's pretty much balanced here. And then she's good till about there. So you have that much movement versus when your arms are um, kind of crouched up, you have such a small balance area. That's why you always want to have your arms extended doing this and doing a manual. Last thing that we're just gonna go over really quick, if things do start to go wrong and you didn't follow rule number one, which is cover your rear brake, um, and you start to loop out, this is how you wanna bail. So I'm gonna have her practice with the seat low, that way it's kind of the easiest for her to step back off. Um, but the nice thing about a wheelie versus a manual is that you're seated, so you do have support there. And all that I do is basically, as I get up to the top and I start to loop out, I just take both my feet off at the same time and bring them out to the side, and you'll kind of like slide off the back of the seat. So that's the easiest way. Don't try to ride it out, you'll end up like a turtle. <laughs> so don't do that. Just uh, basically, as you come up, feet go out to the side and you'll slide off the back. So, okay, I'll so show you we're gonna bring her up. We're gonna get up past the balance point. So she's right about here. And then on three, I'm gonna let you go, okay? Okay, okay. one, two, three. Cool, that was perfect. So that's a bail. Both feet out to the side slide off the back of the seat. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. I would say covering the brake and learning how to bail are the two most important things because that'll keep you safe. And then it just takes a lot of practice and we'll see how you do today. Like I said, our goal is to get up and do a couple revolutions and we'll be happy with that. So let's see how it goes. Okay. All right, so she looks like she's actually in a pretty good gear. Um, good twerky gear not too hard but I think basically you're just going a little bit too slow Okay. so we're just gonna try it same thing that was her first try so it's totally fine but just come in a little tiny bit faster and everything else look good all right attempt number three yeah this attempt was way better but I want you to keep an eye on her top foot and her arms basically she pedals slightly early before her arms are fully extended which doesn't allow her to get the pop she needs she also started to drop her head it's a very subtle difference, but that's the difference between getting the pop that you need and being a little bit low. In this example, you can see that I begin my pedal stroke just as my arms are beginning to lock out. This makes the front end as light as possible when I start to pedal for the wheelie and allows the front end to get up into the right position. The timing between the pedal stroke and the arms locking out is very key, and you'll notice that more as the video goes on. This time, see if you can spot it. So her pedals start to move just before her arms lock out. That causes her to not get quite enough lift. Do the same thing, keep your head up. You'll be good. Oh. Yeah! No way! <laughs> oh. Oh. On this attempt, she did a way better job getting some preload in her arms. She also got the timing between her arms extending and the pedal stroke perfect, and that's why she got such good lift, even though it surprised her a little bit. <laughs> you almost looped her! Oh, no way! That was good! I'm always scared in the point where I'm like looping. Yeah. Are you covering your brake? Yeah, well, okay. that's how I save those. Yeah, that's good. So what just clicked for me is the same thing that clicked with my drops. Uh -huh. And it was the rider position where when I go first, if I had my head with the bars or stem, 
then I could get more of my pop that I was trying, that I was missing. Yeah. When she was doing just that little movement, there wasn't really enough weight transfer happening to get the bike to kind of shift and unweight the front end. I always just try to tell people, think about yourself like a spring and sometimes you need to load everything. So get really compressed and then explode. If you're not getting enough lift, chances are you're just doing a little shift, so. Mm -hmm. All right, I think you have all the fundamentals. It just is, when's it gonna all come together in one sweet wheelie? Yeah. So we'll just do a couple more runs. She's only done like about 20 tries maybe. So huge strides in 20 tries. We'll see if we can get a good one here in a minute. <laughs> so what'd you do different on that one? I picked a spot to look at that was way ahead. Yeah, so she looked all the way down there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a yellow sign kind of way down there. So I told her to look at that and she used that as her point of reference to keep her head up. This one looked awesome. Timing was good, posture was good. She kept her head up. Everything looks perfect and I think it's just a matter of time before she gets this thing dialed. That, that looked really good. Like, I think that you have everything down and it's just a matter of getting all the pieces together at once. It's a lot to think about. Yeah, all right, let's do a couple more. All right. All right, this is it. I can feel it. Yeah! On this one, everything came together. Timing was there. She's in a good posture. Her head is slightly down, which is why she eventually dropped, but that just comes with practice, and I'm super proud of her. That was awesome. Thanks. I think uh, I think that was pretty much what we were trying to get today is like it's it's impossible probably to learn wheelies and get like long ones in a day. However, now she has the right technique. She knows what to do. She's getting the pop. And I mean, the difference from the first wheelie of the day to that last one was like night and day difference. And we've been out here for like an hour just kind of practicing and trying to do a bunch of different runs. And yeah, that was awesome. What are some of the things that you learned that helped you kind of click in your head? There are a lot of things we learned. Um, but for me personally, the best thing was keeping my head up. Um, I think just trying to figure out the right speed, the right gear for me, and especially holding the rear brake in case I loop out. Yeah, totally. Because <laughs> that did happen a few times. Yeah. So yeah, no, you did awesome. Thank you. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Like if you have any questions or anything, definitely throw them in the comment section. The goal of this video was to just help you guys understand the proper technique. And then from here, she just needs more practice. And once those little movements become second nature and you go, all right, I don't have to think about when to pedal. I don't have to think about when to pop. I don't have to think about these things. Then you'll just get those long wheelies. And uh, yeah, it just takes some practice, but you did awesome. It's a good job. And I uh, hope you guys like this video. If you could click like, that would be awesome. And if you could subscribe, that would be great too. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions or comments or anything, throw them in the comment section. We'll try to get to those as soon as we can. So good job, April. Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. This is actually real speed, you guys. Go for it. You were supposed to tell me when to go. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> that wasn't actually slow-mo, believe it or not. <laughs>